Do you know what is automatic reference counting in Swift? If you don't know, please consider subscribing my channel and watch this video till the end. So guys, Swift uses ARC to track and manage our app's memory usage. So how does it do that? Suppose I have three objects. So the first one is this book. The second one is this tripod and the third one is this water bottle. And the fourth one is an instance called Mayank, which is me, myself. And all these three objects are referring towards the instance Mayank, are strongly referring towards instance Mayank. So in this case, the reference count would be four. How four? All these three objects are pointing towards me. So the reference count would be three and the fourth one would be the self reference count. All right. Now the ARC's job is to free up space from the memory. Which space? The instance mining space from the memory when it is no longer in use for that application. And when will that condition arise? That condition will arise when all these three objects are now strongly referring towards the instance Mayank. In that case, ARC will itself free up the space instance Mayank from the memory so that it can use that memory for any other purpose. So guys, let's take an example in our Xcode project. So guys, as you can see here, we have our Xcode playground in which I have taken an instance called person and this person has an object called name, which has been initialized with this uh, particular code. And I've also written uh, the code for deinitializing it. So I've also taken other three objects called person one, person two and person three, which might be nil or might have some value uh, data type person or of instance person. So let's initialize person one and see what happens person one is equals to person and the name value say Mayank and let build and run this and this shows us this message on the console that Mayank is being, being initialized. So a very first reference has been made. So the first reference is from person one to the instance person. Let's make the second reference person two equals to person one and person three equals to person one again. So now I have made three strong references to our instance called person. And these all these three objects are pointing are referring towards this class name person. All right. Now, if I want to deinitialize this class, then what I need is these all these th uh, three objects should be nil until and unless I make all these three objects to be nil, nothing is going to happen and this class will retain here in this memory, in his project's memory. So if I make person one to be nil, nothing will happen as a result. All right, as you can see, this project is running right now and as a result, nothing happens. If I make person two also to be nil, surely nothing will happen again and this class will not be deinitialized. But if I write person three to be equal to nil as well, now all three, all these three references, all these three strong references from person one, person two and person three has been removed. So as a result, ARC will free up the space, will free up this class person from our memory. That's how it manages the memory and track our memory usage of, the, of our application. All right. So that's a major point that under analysis, we make all these three references to be nil nothing is going to happen but once we make it to be nil and in case in the real case when our application does not require any particular instance in the future run so the arc itself free up the space for that application so that it can use that particular memory for any other purpose all right so so guys if you like this video please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe my channel for more such videos in future and in the next video we will talk about memory leaks and retain cycles so please stay tuned so Goodbye for now. See you in the next one. Jai Hind.